warriors welcome back to my channel where we go from depressed to impressed through beauty self-confidence and lots of self-love today i decided to do something bold like really bold i wanted that blue blue aqua eyeshadow and some bold liner so that's what i did In today's video i will be showing you how i achieved this beautiful look and how i did the rest of my face i also will be offering advice at the end of the video on what i've been doing to accomplish my goals and work towards my dream i will offer you five things that have been helping me if you're interested in that watch this tutorial and stick around to the end of the video if during or by the end of this video you find it helpful or find my <sighs> listen listen my weird sense of humor and it, it it's it's bad it's so bad it's so lame but you know what it's me so if you find me funny then consider hitting the like button the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified when i upload new content now with all that being said let's go from depressed to impressed Open up the window, feel that Don't do it. You know you need to do your skincare before you get onto your foundation and stuff. So make sure you take care of your skin before you do all that. So to start out with our skincare, today I am using this Sephora toner. And I just put this on a cotton swab and am toning my face to balance out my pH. Once that's on your face, Go ahead and put on your moisturizer. So I'm using this Daily Greens Oil-Free Gel Moisturizer by Pharmacy. And it's got papaya, y'all. So just go ahead and put that on your face. Of course, put it on your face, Nina. Where else would you put it? To make a tutorial, you wouldn't put it on your toes now, would you? But hey, if that's what you want to do, you go ahead and put moisturizer on your toes. At least your toes would be all nice and soft. All nice and moisturized. Next, I need some vitamin C and a brightening booster. For that, I'm using my Clean Skin Vitamin C Brightening Booster, which has watermelon, green tea, and pineapple. Couple dots on your face. And I like to pat this one in because it dries kind of sticky, so I find that it helps with keeping my foundation all nice and set on my face. Like it helps it stick better. Because I'm a busy person out in the world trying to make my dreams come true, I get very, very shiny and I'm out in the sun, so I need some SPF. To take care of all of that that I need, I'm using my Z Skin Shine Control SPF 24. Because you don't want to crisp your face when you're out in the sun, especially me, because I have to take the bus and walk to school. So I'm definitely outside talking to the sun and this one is sticky as well so I like to pat this one in again helping my foundation stick to my face now some eye cream cuz these ojos get kind of they get kind of dry so I need to make sure that every day and every night I put some moisturizer underneath my eyes for that I'm using my earth harbor reparative eye cream and I just absolutely love the color of this Pretty soon I'm gonna run out! It's sad when I like a product and then it just goes bye bye. To make sure that smoochy smooch sessions are very juicy, you need to moisturize your lips as well. For moisturizer today for my lips, I'm using the Hey Honey Trick and Treat Lip Balm, which is watermelon. Yes, I'm aware that my Chewbacca sideburns are growing in but hey listen with PCOS you just gotta let it grow so you can wax it off if you wait too early it just doesn't do anything okay so this is me with my Chewbacca sideburns say hello Chewbacca sideburns I had to I have to embrace it okay that's all I can do all right you gotta embrace yourself and what you got and what your body wants to produce Unfortunately, mine likes to produce Sasquatch sideburns. Alrighty, once we have our skincare taken care of, we have to put some primer on 
our faces to really make sure that our foundation and our makeup stays throughout the day and to get these pores under control. I'm using my Tula Skincare Face Filler Blurring and Moisturizing Primer and it has probiotics and superfoods. I'm actually almost done with this too. I have very much like this but I am collecting all my trash in a box so I can go over all the items that I have been trying out and what I like and what I don't like and it's a little mixture of everything a little mixture of some lifestyle mixture of some beauty some makeup you know all that good stuff now we can go on to foundation so for foundation today I'm using my Sephora best skin ever and it's a perfect natural finish and long wear foundation I'm in the shade 17.5 N and to apply that I'm using my Sigma Flak Kapuki F80 brush I'm gonna put a couple pumps onto the brush and onto my face evenly and just start blending that all out I love this foundation for like an everyday wear it's really lightweight and it lasts pretty well like if I set it well with the setting spray and some translucent powder but if you want to know my full thoughts I tested this foundation out on my bougie peeps Friday playlist so if you want go ahead and check that out so you can hear what my full opinion is of this foundation a little hint I really like it now I'm gonna take my real techniques sponge and it is damp and I'm just gonna pump a little more foundation on my sponge and blend this all out on my face because I always go in with the brush and then use a damp sponge I just feel like it gives my face such a flawless finish and I have some pimp lays going on so I'm just gonna put a little more on the places that need some prayer once you got your desired coverage, we can go ahead and do our under eyes. So to brighten my under eyes, I'm using my Fenty Beauty Bright Fix Eye Brightener Illuminator. This is Golden Ivory 02. This is another product I tested it on my Bougie Peeps Friday. Again, check that out. I learned my lesson. I can't put too much of this product because a little goes a long way. I'm using my Precision Round P82 Sigma brush to blend this out a little before I blend it out with my sponge. I just feel like using a brush first gives me the best coverage, helps really get the product in there, and then the sponge just makes it flawless. Okay, now take your sponge and just start blending that out. Ooh, I feel awake. It's crazy what concealer does. Now to set my under eyes, I'm using my Flower Miracle Matte Universal Finishing Powder and I'm applying that with my e.l.f. Powder Blurring Brush and just applying that underneath. Stop that creasing from happening. And I'm also taking some on the side of my nose. Now for some contouring, I'm using my Patrick Ta Four Face She Sculpted Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer. Look, don't judge me. I know there's lots of fingerprints on it, but you can see what it is, all right? Just get past the fingerprints. And I just love this packaging. I just, I can't get over it. Now to apply this contour on my face, I'm using my Sephora Pro Flawless Airbrush 56. Just take a little bit at a time and just stamp that on your cheekbones, right? Is that your, that's your cheekbone, right? I think, I think that's what it is. Listen, anatomy was not my friend. I'm serious, head, shoulders, knees, and toes. That's as much as I know. It's kind of like when people ask, oh, can you draw? It's like, yeah, I could draw stick figures. So in this case, do you know your body parts? Yeah, head, shoulders, knees, and toes. So I'm adding just a little bit at a time to get the dimension that I want. Also some on my forehead to make my forehead appear smaller. And some on my jawline and chin. Now going to the bronzer, I'm using my powder bronzer big big brush and applying that where we contoured and a little bit above. And this is to create some warmth in my face. A lot of people sometimes get confused about what's the difference between bronzer and contour. Contour is to add some dimension to your face and bronzer is to warm your face. Like if you're outside getting a tan, you know what I mean? 
and some down here a little bit on her neck to blend this all out now for some blush and highlight i'm using my pacifica cherry gold highlighter and blush i wanted to do something lighter with the blush because our look is going to be pretty intense to apply that i'm using my morphe m105 brush and i'm just placing the blush starting right here and going upward and this is to elongate your face so much for having a light blush you know you put too much you done messed up aa ron oh well it'll eventually fade a little bit later i normally contour my nose but because i'm gonna have a mask on all day i'm just not gonna contour today not feeling the contour but if you wanted to contour you just take your contour and a smaller brush and contour right here two lines on the side and I like to make a little triangle at the tip of my nose now to apply that highlighter I'm using my morphe m510 brush now I'm just placing that right here a little on my nose even though it's gonna be covered a little bit here a little bit of here now to lock that all in I'm using my Tarte shape tape setting powder and applying that with my morphe m5 27 brush. I'm also running out of this. And I'm just placing this on my T-zone. Now our face is all finished. We can go ahead and put on our eyebrows because I need to put on my eyebrows. Okay, children? I need to. So to put on my brows and to have my brows on flea, I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury Brow Cheap Micro Precision Brow Pencil. Now I'm just following my natural brows and just lining them. Also adding color where I am missing hair. Now once you have your brows on, you need to tint them. To tint my brows, I'm using my Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel. Anastasia, Anastasia, whatever the heck it is. I should probably look it up to find out how to actually say the name. Because knowing me, I've been saying it wrong this whole time. Now we can go on to eyeshadow. Before putting our eyeshadow on, we need to prime it to make sure that the colors stay throughout the day and not start going into each other. So I'm using my MAC Paint Pot and applying that with my Ofa Beauty brush. And while I'm applying this, I'm also kind of cleaning up my brows and applying that all over my lid. Now taking my finger, I am blending that all out. Now, I wanted this look to be very bold and very fun. So I'm like, I love blue and I love crazy liner. So that's what I decided to do today. I'm using a couple different palettes today. Like always, I tried to use different colors from all my palettes just so I can get the use out of them. The first palette I'm going into is my Morphe Jaclyn Hill. Now listen, one day I will get to cleaning my palettes and my makeup. So if I'm showing it up really close and you see caca colors, it's not really caca, it's just makeup caca. Does that make sense? Okay, cool. Don't judge me. Awesome. Glad we're on the same page. The first color that I'm going to go into is this beautiful aqua color. I think it's aqua, bluish, aqua, greenish, you know, th th this color right here. Look, you, you see what it looks like. And I'm applying this color with my Diffuse Crease E38 Sigma brush. And I'm lightly applying this on my crease and a little bit on my outer corner. I'm just gonna stamp on some of that color more to make it come alive. I know it looks all over the place, but trust the process. Now, next palette is my Morphe Hit the Lights palette, and I'm going into the color Don't Stop. I'll be applying that with my Sigma E42 Precision Firm Blender Brush. Now I'm just placing that on my crease to add some dimension darkening this up over here now using my morphe m535 brush i'm just gonna blend these colors together just diffusing them going back into my jaclyn hill palette i'll be going into the color 29 i am such a special child i never realized that the colors in this palette had names on the back Stupid. I got that from a YouTube video on pitch meeting. Those are freaking funny. And the guy's like, stupid, stupid, stupid. So, stupid, stupid, stupid. Okay, so because I totally like 
put numbers on these for like editing purposes so I know which colors I'm using but if you close it Nina on the back yeah yep yep um, um Yep, very much so. Using my Morphe M124 brush, I'm going into Pool Party. And I'll be placing that on my lid, but only to half of my lid. And I'm just stamping that on. Do you hear those sirens? I swear, commotion in the city. There's people trying to record here. Just kidding, go say lives. Now using that same brush, I'm going into this palette right here. I absolutely love, love this palette. I think it has such beautiful colors. It has some like party colors and then it has some like warmer colors so you can like do like nighttime looks or like fun looks and then like daytime looks. This palette is beautiful. So using that same brush, I'm going into male and just placing that on the rest of the lid. blending that in with the other color now going back into the don't stop color in my morphe hit the lights palette and going back into that same brush that we used before the e42 brush I'm just gonna darken this up up here to help blend it in a little more and to add more dimension to all these colors last palette that we'll be using is this makeup obsession all we have is now and i'll be going into the color zen and i'll be using my morphe jeffree star js 13 brush and just popping this color on my inner corner now to clean this up and get that sharp sharp line i am using a little makeup wipe and just cleaning the edge here now to do the bottom of my eyes I'm going in with my Morphe M321 brush and going back into Pool Party in the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm just applying that all along down here and connecting it with up here. Now to darken this up a little bit, I'm going in with, I actually don't know the name of this brush. There's no name, but it's a double-sided brush and I'm using the end of it. Well, this end. There's two ends, Nina. A do do do. And I'll be going back into that Don't Stop color in my Hit the Lights palette and just putting this down here on the outer corner of it. Now, eyeshadow is complete. Whew! For the fun part, the liner. I wanted to be bold. Well, here I am being bold. For liner today, I'm using this Maybelline Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner. Now I'm first just drawing a normal liner line. Does that even make sense? A normal liner line? Probably not. Trying to get it as straight as possible and connecting it here. All right, I think this is the best that we're gonna get. I think it looks really cute. I like it. I think I did pretty well trying to get them even. Can't complain, cause that was really hard. My back hurts and my noodle is all noodle. Now to add the finishing touch on our waterline, I'm using this Mary Kay at Play Eye Crayon, and this is in Teal Me More. We're just going for all the blues today, aquas or whatever. Now it's time to add some lashes. So for lashes, I'm first gonna go in with some mascara. I'm going in with this L'Oreal Voluminous Original on my top lashes. And for my bottom lashes, I'm going in with the CoverGirl Total Tease Waterproof Mascara. And for lashes, I'm using this Allure. I think that's how you say it. Allure. Yeah. Whatever it says right here. Those are the lashes that I'll be using. So I'm going to go ahead and put on my lashes. I'll be right back. I'm going to look like a whole different person. Yay. Bam. You see? Whole different person. Lashes definitely adds to the look. 
Now, going on to lips, I wanted to do something nudie, something, you know, not so bold or brave because we got a lot going on up here. I'm using my NYX Professional Makeup Suede Matte Lipstick and this is in the color Dainty Days. Now, if you had something not so pinky, I would definitely go for that, like a nude color that's not pinky because this is a little pink. I'm not sure if it clashes, but this is what we got, okay? Okay. Now to set our makeup to make sure that we look fabulous all day and our bold look is nice and bold all day. I'm using this Flower Seal the Deal Long Lasting Setting Spray and it has a matte finish because you know I get oily throughout the day. Just a couple sprays. Let that dry real good. Make sure your eyes don't get ruined because that would suck camel bells. All right, warriors, this is the final and completed look. I'm so happy and so thrilled how it came out. Now for the advice that I promised at the end of my video. Now this is advice that I've gathered throughout the week through whether it's through YouTube videos, whether it's through books, whether it's through therapy, just it all accumulated this week and I am currently focused on chasing my dreams. Now I'm gonna tell you what I've been doing to try to get there because you know <laughs> it takes time to accomplish your goals and your dreams because you have to put in the hard work this is what i've been doing with the knowledge that i've gained this week i am currently in school to be a licensed cosmetologist and a professional makeup artist because it's time that i went back to school to do that and to fulfill my lifelong goal which is to be a professional makeup artist and a cosmetologist so i can do hair and offer that to my clients and to also really offer you advice like professional advice on beauty but there were steps that i had to do to get there and there's going to be more steps for me to do to get to the end goal and for that i had to set up short-term goals and a big long-term goal so if you do that if you set them up that way this way you have a map of where you want to be and just don't only think of the end goal there are many goals in between to get to that big goal grab a journal and map it out for yourself what can i do within these months what can i do within this week to start accomplishing that for example i want to get better at my makeup looks so that I can, you know, eventually become a professional makeup artist. My boyfriend got me this workbook when I am doing my makeup. This way I can just put my ideas onto paper and that way I can remember them and practice and get better. So remember, short-term goals to get to your long-term goals. Break it up, I know you can do it. Another big important thing to get to your big goal, to accomplish your dreams, is to not have negative influence in your life. You need to cut those people out, cut those things out that are holding you back. You need to have people in your life that are going to help you accomplish those goals, that are going to push you, not put you down. They put you down, you don't need it. Whether that's a partner, whether that's a parent, whether that's a friend, whether that's a teacher. You need to stand your ground and say, hey, if you're not gonna be here for me, if you're not gonna support me, then I need you to go. Some people get jealous of people that are trying to aim for their goals because they're not doing it. If that is the case, you need to cut them out because it is gonna drag you, it is gonna not motivate you, and it's gonna deter you from doing those things that you need to do. Now the third thing that I think is very important is to have a mantra. I have a mantra that is, I find a way. It's that simple, I find a way. And I got that from my horoscope Capricorn book that I read almost every morning just to stay grounded. Now for me, I find a way reminds me that I got this and I will figure this out. So when I am being challenged by life, by the universe, I tell myself, I find a way. Because I know I always do, I've been through many things in my life and I'm still here and I'm still thriving and I'm still flourishing and I'm working towards my goals because I find a way. Look for your mantra. Look for something that every morning you can think of or every time that you're being challenged, you can just say that mantra in your head 
and stay focused. This one is an important one. Number four, therapy. I think therapy is such a beautiful, healthy thing to just let it all out and it's a great way to regroup. I know some people, they're like, I don't need therapy, but you know what? You do, you do. And it's very helpful, especially if you find the right therapist. It won't work if you and your therapist don't mesh, but once you find that therapist that really listens and then offers you advice and helps you regroup your life and helps you think, what things do I need to take out of my life? What things are not helping me? And what things are going to help me? And they're not gonna sugarcoat things either. They're gonna tell you how it is. I think those are the best therapists and be like, eh. You know, maybe you should do this because if you don't like this, you can do this and maybe you'll get the result that you like. I think therapy is a wonderful tool that people should have in their life. Now number five, I think you should implement reminders all around your house of what you're trying to accomplish. So I have books everywhere that I can like pick up or my boyfriend leaves sticky notes in the bathroom or throughout the house letting me know like things like you got this you are a warrior, you are gonna achieve great success, like all types of different things my boyfriend writes and it's so cute, he'll like leave little notes in my lunchbox and it's great. Or also I put sticky note to remind me, hey, you need to do this, you need to do that so that I can do it and get things done so that I can work towards the bigger picture. Those little reminders really help or even a screensaver. So this is my screensaver. You do not just wake up and become the butterfly. Growth is a process. Growth is so important. I have that to remind myself that I'm not exactly where I want to be, but it's going to be a process and I got this and everything will be okay. Or I have my Capricorn book to help me really understand myself and my astrology because that's what I believe in and to help me implement things that I'll really enjoy. And so far that book has been great. I also have this app called I Am and they're daily affirmations. Like throughout the day, it'll send you like affirmations and I have it on my watch and I'll randomly get the notification and it'll say like great affirmations that really get you to think about life and get you to think about your challenges and get you to think about where you want to be. Set those short-term goals and those long-term goals. Avoid negative things and people in your life find a mantra that'll help you get through things i think i accidentally messed up on the fingers so one two three fourth <laughs> is therapy therapy that wonderful tool that it is and the fifth one have random reminders to remind yourself that you are gonna get there and things are gonna be fabulous because you put in the work and you're gonna get everything that you want because you said so and because you did so. Well, that's all the advice that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you will implement this in your life because I know it has helped me. I also hope that you enjoyed today's tutorial on this bold look. I'm just trying to be more bold so that I can get to where I want with lots of confidence through beauty. Don't forget to subscribe if you want more makeup ideas and advice on how to be the best warrior that you can be. Now remember, you are a warrior, stay a warrior, and keep fighting. I will see you in my next video. Bye! Don't think about it. Don't think about it.